July 3rd. The inmate known only as the Joker has escaped, proving once again that the system is broken. I've had to put my ongoing investigation of the serial killer Victor Zaz on hold. The Joker is always top priority. His footprints end in the West End sewer caverns. This is why I'm here. His path of destruction has already begun, putting Arkham nurse, 23-year-old Rebecca White, in the hospital. She had only been working at the asylum for two weeks. is spread like a raging fire. Today, the people of Gotham are waking up to the Joker's words. The zebra has escaped from the zoo to feast on the blood of the lion. since my parents' deaths. I rarely have viewed this city in daylight. <laughs> but this alley, I know too well. I come here when I can no longer silence the demons in my head. As with all children, I look to my parents for help, for an answer. <laughs> news. 
volunteers have the only humanity that I have left. Another child, stripped of its innocence by Gotham's underworld. Two kidnapped, one dead. Can you confirm the Joker was here? Well, the preliminary evidence matches his profile. Are there any recognizable prints? None. This was very clean and precise. There has to be something in here we can use. All the evidence left here was intentional, as always. The city wants the Joker bad. There's a crowd already gathering outside into the hospital for that poor Arkham nurse. I hate to say it, but I blame Batman. Why? Look, I know our city is dirty. We know the only way to come clean is to put our faith in a force that's greater than the law. A force that can take liberties where the law can't. And we've given that force the power to stop this madness, and it hasn't. Gotham's sick of Batman's conscience. So am I. Harley, where is he? I'm not supposed to talk to you. Two people are already dead. Their child is missing. I thought he'd be with you by now. You're always at the top of his dance card. He doesn't care about you, Harley. He's just using you. That's why he needed your help to escape from Arkham. Uh, he loves me. He'll come back. <laughs> he always comes back. He can't help himself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. He's going to do something terrible. You know this. You know him better than anyone. I don't know anything about a missing kid. But I do know something about a little man owing him a favor and that he plans to cash it in. Harley's reference to the little man was obvious. He runs one of the dirtiest clubs in Gotham.
What's your friend? What's her? I'm not bored yet. Go on. Come on. Hey. Where's my money? Yeah, right. Hey, just hold on a second. You're coming with us, okay? Knock it off! Come on, Lisa. I could have taken the silent approach, slipped in unnoticed, but I'm looking to be noticed. I need to make it clear that criminals will no longer be tolerated in Gotham. That tonight, it ends. <laughs> I don't have time for your games, Wesker. You got something to say? Say it to me, dummy. Where is he? I... I... have no idea. You come in here off the track, into my honest business, and think you can put the screws in me? <laughs> Easy, Mr. Scarface. Blood pressure. I... <laughs> <laughs> Wesker, why was the Joker here? What did he want? You read one word to this gumshoe. I'll put you in a wooden box. No. no. Wesker, a child's life's in danger. Don't say a word. I can't. He'll kill me. Act like a man, you dummy. <sighs> no. I'm going to no. ask you one more time. Why was the Joker here? I don't know, he said something about a carnival. Fourth of July carnival. And? And, and, and that's it. I swear, I swear to God, please don't hurt him. Let him go, please. <laughs> Mr. Scarface, please don't be mad at me. I, I had to, he was gonna kill you. <laughs> God bless America, land I defile. Give beans and ham to Uncle Sam. With a toot, we salute with a smile. <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. 
Thompson and Johnson. <laughs> Want any? No. Well then, how about a story? Once upon a time, there was this fierce lion who ruled over the land unfairly. He would bully and scare all of the zebras, and sometimes even devour them. <laughs> one day, one of the little zebras challenged the lion, and he bit his head off. <laughs>
sacrifice of the Joker before I let him go. I knew he would lead me straight to the child. Fun and games here. See? Ah! Now, give a cliche the gun. didn't you save my parents? The Joker was anything but anticlimactic. Which is exactly what this death is. With all of his mischievous, almost whimsical schemes, the Joker was nothing to roll your eyes at. Every performance, as he called them, had a point. Even if a horrific death toll landed him back in Arkham, it was always part of his plan. But this doesn't seem to follow any plan. Is it possible that this child was able to do what should have been done years ago. Is it really that black and white? Is this a victory? Is this a sign that the storm is passing or getting worse? I failed. I failed my parents. And most of all, I failed him. The Batman exists to make sure that what happened to Bruce Wayne never happens to anyone else. How many more broken families exist because of the Joker's reign of terror? A terror that I couldn't seem to end. Even in death, the Joker is still getting the last laugh. Even without the Joker, Gotham has his share of scars. But for those that have amassed too many scars, it has pushed them over the edge. Have I been wrong all these years? Was I just too afraid to pull the trigger? I can't believe that to be true. But as my city and I grow older, I begin to doubt the choices that I've made. I often ask myself, if I were faced with the same situation, would I have taken the life of my parents' killer that is the question that has haunted me my entire life. 
the only answer that I have is the life that I now live. The answer to that question is Batman. Scar. 